today we will learn how we can use XML document in HTML in this video I will also explain how to run this file because in most of the web browsers we are unable to run HTML file that contain XML document for that we need to create two files one is for XML document and second one is HTML so let's start with XML file in XML we can create our own tags let's start to create a XML file XML is a case sensitive language We need to save this file using .xml extension. My file name is 1.xml. Now we need to create HTML file to assess this data. we need to create span or div areas to display the information we stored in xml file And to assess this file, we need to write code in script tag. This is XML HTTP is our object of xml http request class
this objective is for browsers like chrome firefox mozilla etc and uh, this object activex object is for internet explorer we need to open our file that we store with the name of 1.xml xml http dot open open method is used to open a file then we can send information from xml to html for that we need to create object of response xml class this part of the statement is used to assess span element with id 2 get element by id 2 what we want to print in it for that we have to use get elements by tag name this one is of xml file which line like in xml we may have more than one node this is our zeroth value this one is on index one we are we have to use this index here to from from heading heading message XML part is case sensitive message then close script tag then body then HTML now this is our one dot HTML and this one is our 1.xml for some security reasons or some constraints most of the time this html file 
will not executed as expected in our browser let's start with like my dot this is two we have to change this also to from adding message like information is not retrieved from xml file let's see in some other browser one dot html same problem similarly with some other browsers for that we need to create these two files or we run to these file these two files with the help of servers localhost we can use asp.net my visual studio or xamp vamp etc let's try to run the same example in using microsoft visual studio these are the files 1.xml and 1.html when we run this file using localhost we can retrieve this message from xml file I put this line in heading and for testing this is a testing bar so it is also advisable to run HTML file that include XML document with the help of some server thank you